With us, we introduce you to Sidewalk Records' new recording artist, Dylan Scott. Welcome What's to the show. Up, Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Well, it's great to have you here. You have been on my hit list, I mean my want list, for quite <laughs> some time. So. Well, we're here now. Well, so let's get the party started. It is. <laughs> for those that don't know, you are from Louisiana. That's right. Bastrop, Louisiana, did I Bastrop, say it right? Bastrop, yeah. Bastrop? It depends on where you're from, yeah. Bastrop, Louisiana, which is really close to, if you've seen the show, Doug Dynasty, it's about 15 miles from that town. Even if you haven't seen the show Duck Dynasty like me, I have not seen the show, yeah. but I'm definitely familiar with, okay. with, <laughs> with with the influence that Duck Dynasty has had right. right now. I mean, you can't even go shopping without seeing no, Duck Dynasty everywhere. in the store. And you see Halloween this year? Yeah. And it's full of the beards, so yeah. there you go. So has the town changed at all now that that show has become a hit? I mean, are you finding more people are, are coming there because they want to try to have a random brush with a Duck yes. Dynasty character? Yes, yes. Um, one of my guitar players is actually from New York State, and we were playing in Louisiana, and we were driving through. I kind of consider that hometown because that's kind of where my mom was born and raised. If you went anywhere, that's where you went. You didn't really, you know, that's, that's the town you went through. So we were driving through, and uh, it was a Sunday at 9.30 at night. Mm -hmm. And so it was like, well, we'll, we'll go show you where the Duck Dynasty building's at, not thinking anybody would be there. And there was a line of people taking pictures at 9.30 at night in front of this building. So. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Wow. It's a, when I was talking to some folks that know, that know you, I was actually doing my research on you. Yep. I, you know, and I'm saying, we're talking to other radio people, and I'm saying, is he a good interview? Is he quiet? Well, you know, what is he like? And they said, you know, he's from that same area that uh, the Duck Commander is from. Yep. And, of course, not watching the show, I, I am not familiar with the with the Duck Commander. I know the Cobra Commander. Do you know the Cobra Commander? No, you got to fill me in on no, this. No, he's not actually a real person. Okay. <laughs> he, he would be a cartoon. <laughs> But uh, he got he's from G.I. Joe. Oh, okay. Does that help now that you see his yeah, picture? Yeah, I see that. We even got you a signed little picture there. <laughs> to Dylan. Hiss off. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Hiss off. Love it. <laughs> see, you're already getting the McCall treatment. I, I'm telling you, I walk in, I have a cheat sheet and everything. Who you does do. that? I, I know. Love it. We have you prepared for everything. We're going to get the chance to know you a little bit more and okay. know your music as well, including your hit song, Making This Boy Go Crazy, which right. we'll be playing later on. Right now, I thought we'd play something from your EP. Tell me about Hurtin' in the Morning. Hurtin' in the Morning. Let's just say my mom does not like this song very much. Um, it's basically called, if, I mean, if you're not hurting in the morning, you ain't feeling good enough tonight. And so, uh, yeah, it's one of them party songs that your mama don't really like. Here it is on 97.7 Country and WGLR.com. More with Dylan Scott in studio coming up.